So let's see how many video crimes I can do at the same time with a busy background and really terrible lighting and things like that. Here's a little toy I made. It's um, It looks blue here. It looks bright blue. Actually, it's purple, and I can barely see it with human eye. It's um, a UV LED in a little key ring um, flashlight. But um, besides making your underwear glow really bright, like hanging out at Spencer's Gifts, if you paint the right kind of paint on a piece of cardboard, it powers up zinc sulfide pretty good. This is um, phosphorescent paint. You can get powdered zinc sulfide and mix it with Elmer's glue. Or, this stuff is Night Glow. It's um, silk screen ink. The only glow-in-the-dark paint I found that's, that's actually cheap. Sometimes you can get horrendously expensive little tiny bottles. But this, um, 13 bucks for, what, a half a pint? Something like that. But paint it onto cardboard. It makes cardboard glow in the dark. And um, blue LEDs do this okay, but if you get the, the UV, the 400 nanometer type, it actually looks violet, not blue like this camera is showing. Then when you shine it on the, fluores the phosphorescent paint, it fluoresces from the, the purple, but it also stores the energy and then phosphoresces. So we can draw all over the thing. Um, do that. If you build a flashlight, or buy a flashlight that's got the UV LEDs, then when you shine it on this thing, you can um, get the entire thing glowing green at the same time. Will this show it up? Oh, yep, it does. Um, instead of a little spot, you can get the whole thing glowing green. And the glow gets brighter when it's warm. So let's see if I can do that. If I get a glowing spot, and then put my finger on it, Oh, can barely see it. Ah! There's a cat in my lap. <laughs> and here's another um, a plastic plate. So what I have done with these things in the past that's fairly cool is um, um, power it up just with an incandescent light. You don't need this ultraviolet stuff. Uh, get it get it glowing brightly. Turn the lights off. Shove it in the microwave oven. The um, hot spots in three dimensions inside the microwave will make um, glowing patches because the thing is glowing glowing dimly after um, being hit with an incandescent bulb. And if you heat it up in the microwave oven, it shows the three dimensional pattern of hot spots. Or you can just write your initials, do really fast drawings in a dark room and see how long they last. I'm watching the monitor. Actually, it looks much brighter in the monitor than it does by eye. Yeah! I guess it's this camera is more sensitive to green than human eyes are. Let's see. Morse code! Ooh! If I painted this stuff on like a um, an oatmeal can, a big a big can of spaghetti. I could have the, have the, it um, rotating slowly, or even just turn it by hand. And then if um, this thing was turning on and off as the can went, it could draw stuff. And if I rotated the can and then moved this down slowly while it was blinking, it could draw an entire um, image, couldn't it? So if I had two cans and painted one of them white and then drew black marks, black artwork all over the first can, I could have a phototransistor looking at the black marks and this would shine on the second can and if I turn the two cans I could um, draw, I could um, have a fax machine that whatever is drawn in the first can gets um, reproduced on the second one in um, crude raster image. Gotta try it.